hello and welcome back and let us continue our discussion on linear equations in one variable by solving more problems that we haven't solved in grade 6 and 7 so you will find out that as we progress further in solving different types of problems in this chapter uh, we will be using different types of coefficients for the uh, for, for the variables and I think it's it's better that we get started so let's look at this problem over here it says solve 2y plus 9 is equal to 4 and now how do we proceed now the fundamental idea would be to isolate the variable y and try to isolate it so that we get y is equal to something which gives us the solution now one of the techniques which we know is that first we need to get the, rid of this 9 so we use something called transposing right and transposing is what will happen when we transpose essentially what we do is we simply move this number here to here and change its sign so we will say that 2y is equal to 4 minus 9 now this plus 9 when moves from the left hand side to the right hand side and let me just again write down uh, this is the left hand side of the equation and this is the right hand side of the equation so when it moves from the left hand side to the right hand side it changes the sign and I think this we discussed in earlier chapters it would be good to have a look at um, what do we mean by transposing if you aren't aware of that now after doing this uh, so 2y is equal to 4 minus 9 so when we solve this we get minus 5 and we get 2y now what do we do we still need to isolate y over here so what we will do is we divide both the left hand side and the right hand side by 2 so we have 2y divided by 2 is equal to minus 5 divided by 2 now this 2 gets cancelled and therefore we have a solution which says that y is equal to minus 5 by 2 so for the value of y is equal to minus 5 by 2 this equation should hold true now one of good practices is always to check that the solution that we have arrived is correct and how do we do that what we do is we simply substitute this value of y on the left hand side and see whether we get the right hand side or not so let us try to do that in a different color so now let us take the left hand side of the equation which is 2 into y plus 9 and what we will do is we are substituting y equals minus 5 by 2 so 2 multiplied by minus 5 by 2 plus 9 now we know from this this 2 gets cancelled and so we have minus 5 plus 9 which is essentially 9 minus 5 and we get 4 now if you look at when I substitute the value of y equals minus 5 by 2 we get 4 which is the right hand side as well therefore this is a solution of the equation now what is unique about this equation is that the solution here is a rational number so earlier whatever equations we have solved we always got integers so just to open up your mind the solution to a linear equation need not always be an integer it could be a rational number as well and there is nothing to be worried that oh this kind of number can it be a solution yes a rational number can be a solution to a linear equation now let us look at one more example now let me see what is the example over here the example here says that let us try to solve and I'm just looking up the example here it just crawled past quickly and I'm just trying to get the page back yes so here is it we have an interesting one now the new problem says solve x by 3 plus 5 by 2 equals minus 3 by 2 now how do we proceed now what you will look 
in this equation is that we have ratios right we have ratios here but nothing to be worried about because we follow the same principle of transposing and multiplying or dividing to solve the equation so what we do is just to mention we have this is our left hand side here and this is our right hand side and we proceed in the same way we try to isolate this variable x over here to be able to get the solution so let's start so in the first case what we'll do is we'll transpose this number here 5 by 2 from the left hand side to the right hand side so this becomes x by 3 equals minus 3 by 2 and because we are transposing this positive sign becomes a negative one so we have minus and 5 by 2 comes over here now if you remember adding and subtracting fractions which has a same denominator all we need to do is simply add or subtract uh, do the operations for the numerators that's what we do now this makes our job much easier so when we simplify the right hand side here we get minus 3 and minus 5 so essentially we are adding right so we'll have minus 8 divided by 2 well now this 8 2 this 8 can be divided by 2 so we will have x divided by 3 or x by 3 is equal to minus 4 however if you see we still have this x by 3 and here we have 1 minus 4 so we still need to have just x and isolate this 3 so what we will do is we will simply multiply both the left hand side and the right hand side by 3 so this becomes x by 3 into 3 is equal to minus 4 multiplied by 3 and this 3 gets cancelled so that leaves us with x equals minus 12 so you can see the unique thing about this is that it is a negative integer this is an answer it's it's an it's a negative integer now let us solve the left hand side with the solution and see whether the solution the x is equal to minus 12 satisfies so we uh, have x by 3 plus 5 by 2 equals we should see what, what what do we get over here whether it comes to the right hand side or not so so instead of x I will substitute minus 12 and just to say that x is equal to minus 12 minus 12 by 3 plus 5 by 2 now this 3 we can this 12 can be divided by 3 so 3 times 4 is 12 so we have minus 4 plus 5 by 2 now if, if you look at it these are two fractions this is 4 by 1 and 5 by 2 so one of the methods which we learn to be able to simplify these type of fractions is to make their numerators uh, sorry the denominators as same and we can do this by multiplying this fraction here minus 4 by 1 both the numerator and denominator by 2 so we have minus 4 into 2 1 into 2 plus 5 by 2 remember that this fraction remains the same even though we are multiplying it by the same number it, it still remains the same so we have minus 8 by 2 plus 5 by 2 and if you look at it what we are getting here is minus 8 plus 5 or so we will get a negative 3 by 2 and if you look at the, this here we have minus 3 by 2 which is nothing but your right hand side so this is another example now let us look at one more interesting example which says solve 15 by 4 minus 7x equals 9 now earlier the, the first example we did it had all integers but the solution came out to be a rational number in the second problem which we solved we had rational numbers or, or I would say just the fractions uh, were a part of it and the answer came out to be the, the solution that came out to be a, a integer a negative integer and, and that really solved the problem now in this one it's it's like a mixture so you have this is a fraction 
and here you you have like integers as there's an integer which is a coefficient or you would say yeah it's a coefficient for these variable x and then you have this number 9 as a constant over here so now let's try to solve this so what do we have here 15 by 4 minus 7 x is equal to 9 how are we going to proceed it's the same way as we did earlier we transpose this 15 by 4 to the other hand that is from the left hand side to the right hand side and this this concept will be very helpful so we have minus 7 x remaining on the left hand side 9 is there as it is and this is positive 15 by 4 becomes a negative 15 by 4 right now how do we solve this so we can look at this as 9 by 1 and again the same method we use we convert this numerator uh, the, the denominator sorry not the numerator but the denominator to be the same as this one and which simplifies solving this so we make it as 7x equals 9 times 4 and 1 times 4 please note it is not 1.4 it is multiplication which I am showing by dot 15 by 4 so this comes out to be 36 minus 15 and we can take this 4 as common so 36 minus 15 it gives us 21 a positive 21 divided by 4 and we have minus 7x now we still want to isolate this x so we divide both the sides the left hand and the right hand sides by minus 7 right so we have minus 7 x divided by minus 7 now understand I'm using minus 7 over here so we should be using the same sign of the uh, for, of that precedes the co coefficient right the, uh, for this variable to be able to isolate the variable over here and here we will have plus 21 divided by 4 into 1 by minus 7 now we know that this is going to be 3 but we still have this negative sign over here right so we have the solution is going to be x equals minus 3 by 4 but this negative sign this minus 7 and this minus 7 cancels themselves so we have x equals minus 3 by 4 now this is the solution now let us check whether this solution is correct and the way we do it is simply by substituting that into the left hand side so we have 15 divided by 4 minus 7 into x so let's put x equals minus 3 by 4 when we do that we have 15 by 4 minus 7 into minus 3 by 4 so minus 7 into minus 3 becomes positive 21 so we have 15 plus 21 this is also by 4 this is also by 4 and because the denominators are same we straight away add these the two numerators so we get that 36 by 4 but we can divide this 36 by 4 by 9 so we have 9 as the result when we substitute x equals to be this and this if you look at it is equal to the right hand side therefore this is the correct solution so here we have seen some different problems in which uh, 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 we use different types of non-integer type of coefficients along with the variable and in the coming videos we will solve word problems which will kind of make these type of problems so see you soon